Hi, I'm Bobby James from the band Destinique. And welcome back to Future Live Musicians. It's been a while since we did a Future Live Musicians video, and it's great to see all the new faces. Welcome back. In previous videos, we've shared our experience on how to get you from studio to stage. Now that you made it to the stage, we'd like to share some more tips and tricks with you on how to enhance your stage performance using lighting. I'm gonna show you two ways how to sync your lights to your audio. Today, I'm gonna to be using some of the newest lights in our setup for the demonstration. The B-Topper LM1915Rs. They add a lot to our performance. The first setup I'm gonna show you is sound activation. This is great when you don't have a lot of time to get set up and you wanna get the party started right away. First, connect the power cables with the blue ends to the lights. Connect the power cables to a power bar. Turn the lights on. On light one, enter the menu and choose sound mode as the master light. On light two, enter the menu and choose DMX mode. Channel 001 works for us. This will make it sync to whatever light one does. On the back of the lights, use an XLR cable to connect light one out to light two in. So when you're in a busy environment, and you can't really do a sound check, I like to tap or clap the main light and make sure the color and the motion are both synced. Also, another tip that I like to use is to plug them both into the same power bar. Then you have one switch to turn both lights on once your performance starts. The second way we're gonna show you today is MIDI controlled lighting. This is the most exciting. It gives you the best control over your lights, your foggers. Once you get into MIDI mode, it's go time. DMX is a little more complicated to set up, but once it's done, it's worth it. Here's a few things that you'll need. A sound card with an input and output, Ableton Live or your favorite DAW, a MIDI controller, a DMX light box, some XLR cables, and any light fixtures with DMX compatibility. My main control source I have mapped is the Roland SPD30 drum pad. You could use any MIDI controller that you have. Route your MIDI controller into your audio interface in Ableton Live and make sure that they are talking. You might have to consult your owner's manual to get this right. We have used the DMXS box for many years and it works great. We insert the DMXS plugin as an effects on a return channel in Ableton. Check your routing. Run your mix through Ableton Live and on the return channel, insert an EQ and cut all the high end from the channel above 60 Hertz. This way the DMXS will only react to the bass in the music and not the vocal while your singer is talking. This is a key part as it will slow the lights down when there's no music activating them. Okay, so now comes the fun part we've all been waiting for. Controlling your lights with the MIDI controller. First things I like to do is I like to set up my drop pad. That allows me to control everything. The foggers, all the light fixtures. When it's go time and the drop hits, the build up, the build up, the build up, and bam, that's the pad I hit. So on my Roland SPD30, I've set it so that when I hit the snare drum, uh, it goes to a new preset as I move up in my drum sets. So this is our modern kit. This is a kit I call dome drums because they have huge toms. The next one is a Cuban kit. I use this for Latin music. Uh, modern white. I like to use this one if we're doing like, you know, a Nirvana track or something that's old and like raw and just, you know, rank. So this is all white on. And it really lights up the stage with uh, sort of a monochrome uh, vision, which changes the night for the color. So again, looking like and appearing like you are in control of the light show. Uh, this one again, drop pad. And let's go back, shut it off. And uh, that's it, I got about, I think I got about six kits that I run through in the night. Go back to blackout. All of them have the drop pad. So you can simulate a light show that's uh, growing and uh, moving with your performance. So as you're moving through your sets throughout the night, we've showed you that you can change kits. Uh, we have blackout kits. We have different kits uh, for different looks throughout the night. It makes the show and the set evolve. So here's the demonstration of the top end and the low end being separated using the EQ in our DMX's setup. You'll notice that when I play a hi-hat, it doesn't make the lights react. But if I play a bass drum, which has more low end and energy in it, it will make the lights react to the low end power in the speakers.
One thing we also need to do is check out the preset manager. So the preset manager, we've already seen, this gives us all our different lighting controls and keys. And when you go to build your presets, these are the faders that you would use. So this would be fixture one. So you'll see it stop my profile panels here, stop at channel uh, seven. And then the new set of profile panels start at channel 10. And then you're just gonna, these are my fog jets. Uh, you'll go to the next page. This is my B-topper preset. There wasn't a fixture for the B-toppers. So what you do is you go into your fixture library and then you can find something that's relative to the same channel configuration that you want to use. The B-toppers have a lot of options. So you want to have something with at least 12 to 24 different channels. So you can use all the ring lights, the panning, the strobing, uh, the different colors. It's very powerful. So choose something that's relative to the light so that you have control. This is exactly where you program the action of your lights. These control faders are what the light will do. So this might be pan, this might be rotate, this might be turn the green on, turn the red on, turn the blue on. Uh, this is a completely different channel than what the B-toppers are accepting right now, but I've made it so that it works. Have fun with it. And also do not forget to back up your presets. You don't want to lose all your hard work. This does take a bit of time to set up. The great thing about the way we have this set up with the DMXs is once you're playing and there's a mix running through that channel in Ableton Live and you've got the EQ set to just react to the low end, the low end will still make the lights work. You don't have to be playing using the MIDI controller. That can be how you change different scenes make the foggers go off, interact with the light show and the music. But as the music is still going, like when we're DJing, I might not be playing drums all the time. The music is still making the lights work uh, using the low end in the channel that you set up in Ableton Live. One very important setup of this that's at the top kit that I have is called the blackout kit. That turns all the lights off and gives you a simulated control of the light show move into the next kit and I call this our modern kit that starts it up again now I'm going to play along with it and you can see how it will react to the music For the purpose of filming this video, we had to light everything up. So the room is a lot brighter than a regular nightclub. These lights, especially the B-toppers, are absolutely amazing. We get compliments on them every single night we use them. Of course, we also use a bit of wash coming from the top, coming down on Christina and I. Uh, stage wash, these are more lights that make you feel immersive as a part of the experience, but the band still needs to be lit up. You can take some time, make some of your presets, and if you have a few different fixtures, Realize the power of each fixture and what its purpose is. Program it so that it's on a stand uh, hitting the singer or there's a wash on the drummer or whatever it is. Just be creative. Create a light show that really, really, really allows you to connect with the audience and show them that you are in control of the music and that it is your performance. Destiny has the honor of playing some really big stages. Most of the time the production is provided. But when we play smaller, more intimate shows, we like to bring our own lights. We bring the B-toppers, we bring some stage wash, LED panels. We usually have an LED screen on the front of the DJ booth and some foggers. I'm telling you, that is a party. Thanks again to B-topper for sending us these awesome lights. 
If you want to check these lights out for yourself, there's a code in the description below. Featured live musicians, continue rocking the stage. We'll see you next time.